What's up guys? Eric, Veris Engineering. We're out at beautiful Putnam Park doing some testing and today we're going to be talking about dive planes. They're also known as canards and we use them to shift aero balance forward on the vehicle package and then complete that aerodynamic package for your vehicle. Let's go back to the shop to discuss this more. This right here is a dive plane, also known as canard. They are produced by 2x2 two two twill pre-prayed carbon fiber on aluminum mold. As you can see, they have a very unique shape and that is dictated off of our CFD analysis. This unit right here is for a 22 BRZ. Link in the description below. Link in the description below. We make them for a lot of makes at this point. Toyota, Subaru, Porsche, BMW, Corvette, Mustang, a lot, and more to come. We can also do custom canards and we recently did some for a time attack effort going up Pikes Peak recently. You may have seen it on an electric SUV looking at our dual element dive planes on our Supra. These units produce downforce in a couple of ways. The one main way that we focus on is creating a strong vortex off of these units, which allow this area in the fender to actually generate a little bit lower pressure, especially when you have a diffuser in the splitter that actually really works that diffuser harder and then the front of the splitter as a result as well. So that's where we're actually getting a lot of the benefits, not on the units themselves, but what they do down the side of the car. The other way that these actually do produce downforce is a little bit of high pressure on the top side, low pressure on the bottom side. So you get a little bit of the forces acting on the units themselves, which push the front of the car down and shift that aero balance forward. All right, so sometimes I notice that we run two sets of dive planes, dual element on a, a car, and sometimes we run just one set. Can you explain the reasoning behind that? Full transparency, it's generally because of cost. So as you have two elements, that's gonna be a little bit more of expensive development, and mold costs as well as carbon costs. Uh, the more economical cars, customers are generally a little bit more price conscious and we generally feel that doing one at that $200 price point is gonna actually produce a better product for that customer base and we don't wanna price ourselves out of that market. So we generally design a single element for those and then the little bit higher end models will develop dual elements because we can create a, a stronger vortice with two elements and we actually have two elements that are working in parallel with one another to generate more downforce. Now we do do all of our homework on the single element unit to try and get the most benefit from that single unit but at the end of the day when we can run two we're going to pick to run two it's just going to be a more costly product. Our general recommendation is to actually run it with a rear diffuser so you get a balanced package and that's generally why it's called the Ventus One package. So it's a balanced package, front and rear, great efficiency gains as far as downforce and not really much of a drag increase. So that's how I would recommend it. However, if you feel like the car does under understeer at high speeds and it doesn't need that rear end bump, just go for the dive plane. You're gonna get a little bit more front end grip at high speeds and that front dive plane will actually push that aero balance forward so maybe that'll be the better answer for you right there. At the end of the day, I would always recommend running it with a rear diffuser though, especially if we produce it because we know it's actually a benefit to the whole vehicle and we believe that aerodynamically, it's a balanced setup. So that's gonna be your safer bet. Thanks for watching our quick little video on dive planes, how we develop them and how we go about using them on our vehicles. I hope you find that useful and you can use it on some of your vehicles as well. Uh, if you have a vehicle that we don't actually produce dive planes for, we really appreciate hearing from you. So be sure to comment below on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever this is. Until next time, I'm out.